Hello on day three from Osijek, Croatia. It's Caroline here inside my hotel room. Originally, I tried to get this morning shot outside in front of the beautiful canal and river that is right next to our hotel uh, because the sun was rising and it's 15 degrees today, so I thought that would be a nice shot. Little did I know that it's one of the gustiest days ever. Super windy, so my hair wasn't cooperating, the audio wasn't cooperating. Lost the battle to the elements, jogged back up here to film <laughs> this in my room. So you'll just have to visualize a beautiful scenic river behind me. On the agenda for today, I'm heading to the stadium nice and early ahead of the official draw ceremony that's gonna determine the order of play for this weekend's action. Then the players will have to do a little bit of a media circuit with both some Croatian and Canadian media, talk to them. And then I'm gonna sit down with Daniel Nestor and grill him a little bit about his amazing, illustrious career and see what some of his favorite Davis Cup memories are. I've arrived at the arena now, just waiting for everybody to finish trickling into the draw ceremony so we can get underway. <laughs> so the first match is Modna Chorich. <laughs> this is question number one, so we, we will have to play the Canadian number two in the first match. The rest of the names have been drawn and the order determined. Now the guys are doing some media availability. I'm going to try and sneak Daniel away to chat with him now. For Daniel Nestor, obviously the storied Davis Cup career that you've had uh, continues. What's it like competing in your 24th year? Did I get that right? Uh, that's what they said. I've okay. had a good week of preparation and uh, happy to be able to play in tribute. Looking back on those 24 years, what is a memorable tie that stands out to you? Um, well, I think just uh, when we played in Serbia and had that run to the semifinals, that was uh, special because uh, we haven't been in the world group until the last five years. Uh, it was, it was uh, not something that we were accustomed to. So I think uh, now that our team has stepped up and uh, the strongest it's ever been, it's uh, the, the last five years have been the most enjoyable. So, as you're saying, that these past five years, you've seen some really strong additions to the team. What's it like for you, reflecting back on your start, to kind of be able to mentor or provide some guidance to these young guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm always there for, for them when uh, when they need me or if, or if they need me. But, uh, you know, one thing I've been so impressed with, with these young guys is uh, how mature and uh, focused and professional they are at a young age. And, uh, so uh, I'm not sure if, uh, what role I played, but uh, I'm here and, and always available if, uh, if you need me. So with Dennis, a teenager in the room, do you ever find that there are moments where they're talking about things where it's going over your head, or does still playing on tour keep you relatively in the room? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's fun, and you these guys, uh, it's a pretty big age difference, so uh, there's times where you know, I don't feel comfortable and I go do my own thing, but, uh, you know, these guys are all, you know, really good guys and uh, really down to earth, and, uh, you know, I've always been a little bit immature, so I can uh, feel comfortable in, in that environment also. And lastly, what does it mean to represent Canada on the stage? Yeah, I mean, uh, for sure it's been uh, the, the most special thing in my career and, uh, you know, something that I've uh, grown to love more and more and uh, something that uh, you know, I've appreciated the opportunity for, for many years, so something I'll definitely miss uh, come the end of the year. Well, thanks so much. Best of luck this weekend. We're Thank excited you. to watch. Yeah. Thanks. We'll see you later. I've arrived back at the hotel. We've come full circle in the same chair I started off this morning. Um, what a day. Pretty cool seeing that draw ceremony in person. Always is and gets you really excited for tomorrow's action and the rest of this weekend. Uh, also a really neat thing that I keep, that I'm reflecting on as I start to edit is obviously the chance to sit down with Daniel Nestor and, and interview him. And when you talk to him in person, it's pretty crazy because he's so down to earth, he's so humble that you really can forget what a living legend he actually is. Not just what he has on paper, but what he's done for the sport and in terms of inspiring the next generation of the athletes that we're seeing come up now. So pretty cool moment getting to talk with Daniel uh, during one of his final ties. And yeah, pretty cool. So looking forward to watching him play this weekend as well as uh, the rest of the team. Tomorrow is when the action officially starts 
first match is at 2 p.m. Croatian local time. So check your local listings and see when you should be watching and tuning in. Uh, wake up early, have a cup of coffee, and tune in for tomorrow's episode. We'll see you then. Bye.